Hello everybody, this is Dreaming Gamer back to kick off round two for Group F. Group F, quite, well, a, a competitive group because we obviously have one of the naughty toddlers in here. And yeah, we got three matches to, to go through here. Starting off with Ratchet going up against Jonas Chu. Diddy Darius taking on da Dino Hug. And then Arctic Warriors going up against Dino Nerd. So... I promise it, a good opportunity for these two especially to put some breathing space between themselves and fourth place. So, let's get on with it. Oh, bad lag there, bad lag there. In the red corner, for Ratchet, we have the T-Rex. The T-Rex, I would probably say the powerhouse of this team, really. And we definitely saw what it could do in the last round. The blazing spin will do a lot of damage. Even though it's... I think this T-Rex is actually hunter time. Ooh, bad lag there. Yeah, I anyway, mean, it seems to be lagging a bit today. I'm not sure why. Maybe, um, probably need to change for another second. But anyway, as for Jonas Chu in the blue corner, we got a Stegosaurus. Jonas Chu didn't quite happen for him in the first round there. Hoping to bounce back with a win. Oh, I, I don't know to fancy. I fancy, um, I fancy Ratchet to do well. Wait, what? Oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> it's because, um, Ratchet wanted to use Rex and, well... Obviously, Rex is the default for the right. I thought we'd go with Max, but oh well. So we got Rex versus Rex. Ooh, and it's a tie. <laughs> What's the chances this match ends in a draw? Ooh, the Stegosaurus getting the first hit. Okay, this is going to do a arse ton of damage. Jonas Chu starting off the way he wants to with a Quake Saber. Yeah, look at that. If Barrier coming in as well. Strengthening in his grip early on. Good start from Jonas Chu. Well, normally, because this T-Rex... Well, I think, as I said, I think it's Hunter type, so... Normally, this Blazing Spin attack will do a crap ton of damage. But, the Earth Barrier says no. I didn't do too bad, actually. It did decent. It, it, uh, at least it did damage. Oh, he went for it again! But Jonas Chu is having none of it. Stegosaurus giving Chu a 1 0 lead. Ah, uh, this will be interesting because Ra this is the first time that Ratchet will be basically playing catch up. So we'll see how he deals with the pressure. Yes, I actually broke my headphones. I can still use them, but the one, the one like, thing is dangling off. So if it falls during the video and you're a fud, then that's what it is. But yes. As for Ratchet's second dino, we got Alpha Allosaurus. Will Alpha Allosaurus prevail for Ratchet, or can Jonas Chu extend their lead? Oh, it's a crit! Jonas Chu going to be extending that lead. Although, given that Stegosaurus has a powerful crit, it didn't do too much damage. Ratchet really needs to get the next hit here, and he does. Well, it's not really a hit, but he will land some damage on the steg, so one more hit should finish off the steg. Oh, bad lag there, bad lag there. Oh, it's a tie. Stegosaurus won't mind that, but there is the rocket, and it doesn't kill the Stegosaurus. However, this hit will kill the Stegosaurus. Just like in my uh, Grudge Match video, video, Alpha Allosaurus laying the smack down on the stair. Well, technically it beat Armatus, but you know. Allosaurus is Allosaurus and Stegosaurus is Stegosaurus. Ooh, this could be tough for Ratchet to get back in this match because Jonas' second dino is a Mapusaurus. The Stretch Skull model here. The Mapusaurus will have a big type advantage against that Allosaurus, and I expect Jonas Chu to use it well. So I think ACT Rocket here is going to be key for Ratchet to get back in this match. But don't be surprised to see Jonas Chu take a 2 1 lead. Well, he's going to be 2 1 up if he gets off a crit like that. Not much damage dealt though, Mapusaurus actually has balanced stats, especially for a Fire Dinosaur. Making it one of the more standout gods. Well, for fire dinosaurs anyway, because I find... Well, Eocarcaria is obviously the big one, but... Oh, look at this! Here comes a ninja attack, but again... 
Allosaurus, Alpha Allos crit is not that powerful, so this sh won't do too much damage. It'll do some, but not a lot. Yeah, look at that. And yet, there's the, well, overkill by Jonas Chu here. The Magma Blaster coming in, which will guarantee Alpha Allosaurus' death here. And leave Ratchet down to his third dino, which is the Spinosaurus. Ratchet not out of this yet, though, because the Spino does have the type advantage over that Mapusaurus. So, I wouldn't call put this in the books yet. Of course, if the Mapusaurus can chip away at this Spino's health, it will make Jonas Chu's job of finishing this match off easier. Wow, look at Mapusaurus standing taller than the Spino. That's impressive. Ooh, the Spino does get the first hit. That'd be a good crucial hit that could be now. That pretty much puts Mapusaurus within range of being killed. Ooh, but the Mapusaurus gets the hit. It's a blazing spin attack, but again, that type advantage should save the Spino from taking too much damage. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at that. Could tank those all day long. Well, not really, but you get what I mean. Ooh, a light recovery coming in. The Spino getting the hit. Ratchet clawing his way back in this match. But it's not enough to kill the Mapus. Ooh, how costly could that be? Um, not very costly because the tie will finish off the Mapusaurus. And we're level pecking. Ratchet coming right back into this match. Right, as for Jonas Chu's third Dino, we have the Spino Tector. I doubt we'll see Dino Tector in this match, which means... Well, you know what that means. It means I'm going to have to go take in multiple screenshots until I get the one I want for the thumbnail. <laughs> Look at this, it's, like a, it's a mirror match. you got Spinosaurus going up against Spino Tector. Ooh, the Spino Tector gets the first hit. That light recovery could definitely is definitely going to help here for Ratchet. Ratchet gets the next hit. Another light recovery coming. This might actually put Ratchet. Okay, no. Not much damage dealt there. Oh, he went for the crit. The Spino Tector got the next hit. Jonas Chu guaranteeing himself points. Ooh, and has he won this match? Aqua Vortex getting triggered. Jonas Chu one attack away from winning. And, the, and there it is. It's the Neptune stream. Well, it doesn't matter if I screw this up. Because... The Spino's on such low health. And yet, that's guaranteed Jonas Chu the win. A good, a good, I, I think he deserved it. And yes, we went full tilt Neptune stream. <laughs> yep, no surprise there. The Spinosaurus going down. And Jonas Chu getting a win. And their first win of this tournament, Ratchet, put up a good fight, actually, in fairness. Put up a really good fight. Very back and forth match. Ratchet did get back into it in the end, but Jonas Chu was just able to pull away. So, yeah, good win for Jonas Chu. As for Ratchet, I'm sure they'll do fine. I'm not too worried about them. They got the win they needed to get on the board. So, yeah, it's still all to play for for both of our combatants. Right, the O then. On to our next matchup of this session, which sees Diddy Darius taking on Dino Hug. All right, then. In the red corner, for Diddy Darius, we got a Gigant Spinosaurus. And I'm just double checking, I got the Awaken mode right for Dino Hug, and it's on two. Perfect. Yes, Diddy Darius got an impressive win in the first round there. And, I, you know what? I think Diggy Darius could be a dark horse in this tournament. Really do. However, as for Dino Hug in the blue corner, we have to Sanjuro. Dino, Dino Hug got just the start they would have wanted. 
given the points deduction they needed to get make a fast start and they did. Can they make it two out of two? In fact, both of these two are off the back of wins. Who will make it two out of two? Or it could even be a draw. I'd say if Dino Oak wins this match, I'd put him right back in the mix. Like, the, be the best Dino Hood can probably hope for is, like, third place. They're not going to win the group, even if they win all their matches, which I don't think they will anyway. But Diddy Darius getting the first hit here. Good start from them. But yeah, for Diddy Darius, this is a good opportunity to put some breathing space between himself and the bottom two. Well, bottom three, really. As for Dino Hug, if, as I said, if they get a win, that puts them right in the mix. But so far, they're not winning this match because it's the Gigant Spinosaurus getting off the heads. And that crit is going to give Di Diddy Darius a 1-0 lead. Strong start here from our top 8 combatant. So he finished in the top 8 last time, Diddy Darius, and I wouldn't be surprised if he finished top 8 again. And, well, on, on the back of this display so far, top eight looks very likely. But, you know, we've got a long way to go yet. All right, as for Dino Egg's second Dino, we got our Super Epista Seeder Cordia. The Awaken Mode on two, of course. The Awaken Mode definitely helped Dino hug in their last matchup, and I think he's going to need it to, to help him this time as well. Diddy Darius starting strong, hasn't even been hit yet. Look at this from the Gigant Spinosaurus, dominating so far. Right, that's once. Poor Dino, I can't even get a hit. Oh, oh, it's a tie. Ocean Panic coming. That could be just what Dino Hug needs with the Awaken mode to come as well to get back in this match. Because that means the next time the, 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 best, the worst he'll get is a tie. And he'll probably get off Ocean Panic again. Yep, there's the shockwave effect. And here's the awaken mode. Right, so a piss to see. Oh, we'll be going for a crit. What will Diddy Darius' move be? Let's find out. Oh, it will also be a crit. Oh, no ocean panic, though. That could be good for the um, Dino Hug. Oh, another tie. Interesting. Another tie! Three times in a row kills the Gigant Spinosaurus and Dino Hug might be coming back into this match. Right the O then, as for Diddy Darius's second Dino, we got a Magasaurus. Well, multiple ties and Dino Hug, Dino Hug might actually take the lead here. He's only got off one, well he hasn't got off any hits. He's a mate, this is incredible. I, I, yeah, no, Dino Hug hasn't even got off a hit. And yet, he somehow killed the Gigant Spinosaurus. Oh, and he's got the crit! Look at this! From Dino Hug. Aqua Javelin as well. Look at that all of a sudden. One hit. Well, technically he got the Ocean Panic off as well, but one hit and Dino Hug is in the lead. Where has that come from? That's come completely out of nowhere. Well, he was in the lead, but now he's not anymore. The Amargosaurus getting Diddy Darius back on track. Look at that, though. Incredible. Dino Hug right in this match. Alright, as for his third Dino, we got a Super Sign Raptor. Well, and for Dino Hug's sake, I hope it'll have the same impact the Epistocela Cordia had. Wow, this is, this is incredible. One hit. Oh, Dino Hug's only got one hit off this whole match. And somehow he's in this. Diddy Darius loses this match. He's going to kick himself. He's going to really kick himself if he doesn't win this match. Oh, it's a tie. The Amargosaurus going down. Well, this, again, this is completely out of nowhere. Oh, I shouldn't have skipped that. I just made it really hard to do the thumbnail. Balls. Oh well. As. Actually, no, no, it doesn't matter. I'll be using a. It's a Dino Tector tank, isn't it? So I'll use the Dino Tector form. 
But yes, okay, as for Diddy Darius' third dino, we got Tank Dino Tector. Sand Trap will definitely help Diddy Darius now, stopping the um, Dino Hug from landing damage with tires. Ooh, there's a technique boost. Tank getting the first hit. Earth Barrier will also help as well. Speaking of the devil, there's the Earth Barrier. Diddy Darius tightening his grip on this match. Oh, another hit! But it will be awakening time next round. So Dino Hug not out of this yet. Actually, it'll be wasted because it's got the Earth Barrier. Well, it doesn't matter now. you still got to use it. You can't say no. Oh, he doesn't get the hit! Dino Hug running out of luck there. Didn't get the hit. Ooh, he does get a hit off here. Well, the Earth Barrier is going to basically limit the damage there. Can Dino Hug snatch a losing bonus point? The answer to that is no. Well, that was a crazy match. Like, somehow, like, how the hell did Diddy Darius not get a bonus point win there? In insane. But yes, Diddy Darius getting the win against Dino Hug and extending his lead at the top of the group. That could be a crucial result. That could be going forward. As for Dino Hug, well, the fact that they won their first matchup definitely help them so they're still not out of this yet another win and as i said they'll be right in the mix but after that maybe fourth a best fourth place team might be the best outcome for them we'll just have to see won't we on to our final match of this session which sees arctic warriors going up against dino nerd right the o then in the red corner for arctic warriors we got an alpha kendrosaurus kendrosaurus both of these two started off with defeats and both of them will be eager to get back to win well will be eager to get a win on the board especially after the first two results right as for dino nerd in the blue corner we got a giganonosaurus this giganonosaurus definitely packs a lot of power so arctic warriors is gonna have to watch her back watch her their back otherwise this giga will rip it a new one Oh, no, nope, hit me microphone. <laughs> All right, you know. Oh, I, I don't know who's going to win this matchup, to be honest. I think this could be a close one. Well, I hope for a close one. To be honest, I hope all the matches are close, because they're more fun. But Arctic Warriors getting the first hit there, and it's a banana surprise. Oosh. Ooh, the shockwave effect didn't activate, though. That's a tie. Quake Saber getting triggered there. It's another tie. That's another tie. Oh, the Kentrosaurus getting the hit. Giganonosaurus biting the big one and Arctic Warriors taking the lead. But it's going to be tough to extend that lead because as for Dino Nerd's second Dino, we got an Ulura Titan. Which will have the type advantage over that Kentosaurus, so Dino Nerd can easily claw their way back in this match. Oh, that's another tie. Tie recovery there from the Ulura Titan. Oh, it's a quick saver! The saving grace is that this shouldn't do too much damage. But Kentrosaurus's moves are well balanced, so and it and it's at a type disadvantage, so oh, not too much damage, but it still took some damage. Oh, it's another tie. Can Dino Nerd even get a hit? Another tie. Oh, oh, here comes Greed Impulse. This could be just what Dino Nerd needs to get back in this match. Well, about time he got off Green Impulse, up given all those bloody ties. Boosh! There's the, ta there's the uh, steel health effect there, not that it makes a difference. And 
Another tie. Is Kendrasaurus finally going down? The answer to that is yes, but the Uluru Titan did take a beat then. So Arctic Warrior still has a sizable lead. And it looks like they'll probably extend that lead because their next dino is the Sorophaganax. Pretty much a full tilt Sorophaganax here. Oh yeah, definitely. Look at that power. Full tilt Sorophaganax. Well, this is going to be tough for Dino. We need to get some hits on the board. We haven't even got a hit. Like, the green impulse doesn't really count. Well, there's another hit for Arctic Warriors. It's a fireball. Ulua Titan going down there. Right then, as for Dino Nerd's third Dino, we got a Super Therizinosaurus. I think it's going to need this thing to pull its weight here, because, well, Dino Nerd hasn't even got a hit in this match. It's just been all ties. The, Ul the Kentrosaurus died through all ties and, and a green impulse. If you're good random them generate, you should give Dino Nerd about five hits. Oh, it's another tie. Hey! Dino Nerd finally got a hit! Okay, the awake mode is on three, so that's once. Ooh, tell you what, he's getting off another hit. The fairy putting up a fight. Oh, it's another hit! Is that Sorofagonax dead? Yes, it is! Dino Nerd storming back in this match! As for Arctic Warriors' third dino, we got a Mega Raptor. Well, I didn't think Arctic Warriors would need to get to Mega Raptor, but another full tilt dinosaur here. Not as powerful as the Sorophaganax, but still a mighty beast to contend with. Yep, they'll be awakening time for the fairy next time. Arctic Warriors can't stop the momentum. It's a claw blade. And it's awakening time. Dino Nerd could win this match now. Well, Arctic Warriors has to get this hit or they're going to lose. Oh, it's a tie. That will suit Dino Nerd though. Oh, Mega Raptor gets the hit. Dino Nerd is denied! Arctic Warriors getting that crucial hit there to save themselves from losing. And because the Fairy's HP will be half, both of our combats will guarantee themselves points. Oh, and it's Dino Nerd leaving with the points! A Chlorian Payler to finish off the Mega Raptor and give Dino Nerd the crucial win! A come from behind win from Dino Nerd there. Impressive there. But Arctic Warriors will get a losing bonus point. But yep, yeah, it's Dino Nerd who leaves with the spoils. Well, that was an intense, interesting match, wasn't it? A good comeback there from Dino Nerd. Arctic Warriors suffering his second straight defeat in this tournament and will need to get something out of the next match. But yep, yeah, we can have a look at that now. Well, Group F definitely opening up there. Probably not the best round if you're Dino Hug, given that they lost and Jonas Chu and Dino Nerd got wins on the board. Well, mainly Jonas Chu getting a win on the board is not the was the probably the worst result for Dino Hug there because that puts him four points behind fourth place with three to play. It's still he's it's still on because that crucial win in the first round. So yeah, Dino Hug still has a pretty good chance chance to get out of this group but it is going to be tough and let's see what they're playing next oh it's going to be a tough match for dino hug taking on dino nerd and then we will see jonas chu going up against diddy darius and finally ratchet taking on arctic warriors some big games round three could be round three is usually like the defining round where we really get to see who will go through and who will go home and i suspect for group f that will be no exception so yep Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any future tournament videos. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out.